Well, hello. Welcome back to part two. And we're going to be starting here with a little bit of this uh, Blue Note stuff. First up is Stanley Turrentine Joyride. And uh, he's got uh, You can see it on the back. You can't really see it on the front. Okay, who we got on here? Stanley Turrentine's tenor sax. Then you got trumpets. Ernie Royal, Clark Carey, Snooky Young. So you've got three trumpets, a saxophone. You've got one, two, three trombones on here. Then you got reeds, alto sax, flute, alto flute, tenor sax, soprano sax, there's a lot of a lot of stuff going on here. Then Kenny Burrell's on guitar, Herbie Hancock's on the piano, Bob Cranshaw on bass, and Grady Tate on the drums. Yeah, Joyride, Stanley Turrentine. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a sonic spectacular Joyride, there you go. And then we've got Spring, Anthony Williams. This is a really good record. The symbols are really prominent on this record because, you know, Anthony Williams is a drummer. There you go. Here's the back cover. And uh, Wayne Shorter, Herbie Hancock, Anthony Williams drums, Gary Peacock bass, Sam Rivers tenor sax. Got two saxophones, piano, bass, drum. Very good. Now, Blue Mitchell. Another great blue note. Hard bop record. Well, who's he got helping him on here? We got Blue Mitchell, trumpet, Junior Cook, tenor sax, Chick Corea is on the piano, Gene Taylor on the bass, and Mr. Foster on the drums. Really nice. Blue Mitchell. Blue Note. The Sidewinder. Joe Henderson, Barry Thomas, Bob Cranshaw, Billy Higgins, Lee Morgan. That's a great... Blue Note Standard right here. Great record. Hub Tones, Freddie Hubbard. Another good uh, Blue Note record. And we've got Freddie Hubbard, trumpet, and then we've got alto sax and flute by James Spaulding, Herbie Hancock, and Clifford Jarvis on the drums, and Reginald Workman on the bass. Hub Tones. It's not the greatest but it's still good more for Joe another Joe Henderson record uh, with Lee Morgan Bobby Hutchinson yeah love Bobby Hutchinson Cedar Walton Ron Carter great Joe Chambers you know how can you miss on a record like that that's why I used to buy these records I just go through and I start looking at who's on the record and I say yeah I know that guy I know that guy little bit I know you can be, if it says blue note on it you can basically buy it I mean these are great records uh, Grant Green. Here's a newer one, Hank Moberly. Another workout with Wilton Kelly, Paul Chambers, Philly Joe Jones, and Grant Green. Let me see the label on here. No, it's a blue and a regular blue note label. Then I pick this up. This is a blue note, uh, volume two, the best of blue note. And he's got a bunch of great artists on here. I Quebec, and Art Blakey, Dexter Gordon, Horace Silver, Sonny Rollins, Clifford Brown, Thelonious Monk, uh, Cannonball Adderley, Lou Donaldson, um, what's the guy here? Uh, Bud Powell, Herbie Hancock, with Watermelon Man he does on here. So you know it's not that. Horace Parlin is really good. Lee, Horace Parlin is one of the records that I bought. Lee Morgan. Joe Henderson, yeah, how can you miss? And it was, I think I got it at eBay and it was a really, really good price. And it's Blue Note. And so now here's some of the Music Matters records. These are the two, up, two LP 45 RPM. I got Hank Moberly with Roll Call, Art Blakey, Freddie, Freddie Hubbard, you know, Paul Chambers, all the good guys again on there. Sounds nice. And then I've got... Uh, Music Matters, I've got uh, Donald Byrd, 
the catwalk. And then I've got some more Donald Bird stuff. I really like that. When I got that Ethiopian Nights, I got turned on to Donald Bird, so I bought a lot of his records after. This is about the same year. I think 75 just came out. Donald Bird, Blackbird. And uh, it doesn't say who's on the record, but obviously Donald Bird. Yeah, doesn't say. Good record. This is Donald Bird, Gigi Grease, Jazz Lab. This is on 180 grams. It's a newer reissue that I bought a few, 10 years ago, I think, probably. Donald Bird, Long Green, The Savoy Sessions. Donald Byrd, Hank Jones, Paul Chambers, Kenny Clark, Frank Foster, and Tenor Sax. Donald Byrd, Street Lady. Donald Byrd and Herbie Hancock, Taking Care of Business. This is a great record. I bet you don't see this one very much, but this is good. It's a good record right here. Pepper Adams, Jimmy Cobb, Lehman Jackson. And of course, Kind of Blue on Columbia. Tony Williams, Foreign Intrigue. Charlie Mingus, The Black Saint. That's a good record right there. I like this one. Donald Byrd, another Donald Byrd record. It's a newer one. On the, uh, the Blue Blue Note Elk record label. We got Donald Byrd. Uh, Alfo, Monzo, Monzo, on the drums. I used to have one of his solo records. Uh, got some guitars on here. Scott Edwards, percussion, horn section, bunch of horns. Background vocals, Donald Byrd, lead vocals. So yeah, interesting record. Here you go. A Spoonful of Soul. Jimmy Weatherspoon. Yeah, you don't know about Jimmy Weatherspoon? Check this joker out. <laughs> he is classic. This is a classic guy right here. Well, look at him. Is that not classic right there? And this is a UK press on Verb. I think, pretty sure it's a black Verb label. Come on, you gotta have a little Barry White once in a while. Just for some fun. Gotta get some Frank, Strangers in the Night. There's that Milt Jackson Sunflower with Herbie Hancock, Freddie Hubbard, Ron Carter, and Billy Cobham. And of course, you know, Milt plays the vibes. Excellent record. I really like that kind of music. Emily Remmer, Catwalk. And uh, it's got guitar, trumpet, bass, and percussion on this record. And we got old Natalie Cole. Got to do some of that Nat King Cole we done. And then, of course, you got to have Nat King Cole. So this is a best of Nat King Cole on a Japanese only 2 LP. So you got a lot of his a lot of his songs on here. Johnny Hammond, Higher Ground. Arranged and conducted by Bob James. The Beaujolais Band. This is what you call acid jazz. This came out in the 90s. And I bought a number of acid jazz records, and this is the one that I kept. This was the best one of the, of all the bunch. It even says right here, if you see Acid Jazz. It's on the Acid Jazz label. Freddie Hubbard, Red Clay. Pretty popular record. Most people know about that. Here's one that's good. Bill Evans and Toots Thelman. If you know some of those um, uh, Quincy Jones record with that harmonica, that's Toots Thelman's. And him and Bill Evans, yeah, that's a good record right here. More Crusaders. I bought this a while back on a Japanese original. This is phenomenal sounding record right here. The fidelity is fantastic. It's a 2LP, it's really nice. 
Here's some uh, more of that uh, Kmart Crusaders. I think I got this one at Kmart and I bought this one too. You see, it's even got a punch hole, hole on it, but I bought it new as well as I bought. And that's got a punch hole too, so I bought these at Kmart. Deleted. Stanley Jordan and Stanley Jordan. Magic Touch. He's got the Magic Touch, all right. Bob James. Touchdown. And then, this is Obsession, Bob James Obsession, that I had bought in probably 1990-89. I can't buy it when it came out. What's the year on it, if I can see it quickly? Uh, I don't see anything. 86. It was 86. I probably bought it in 89, let's say. I don't think I bought it when it came out. And I listened to it at home, and I thought, wow, this really sounds good. Well, you know what? I put it on the stereo the other day. It sounds so digital. He's playing the digital keyboards and the digital digital, and he's got digital on top of digital on this thing. So if you want something that sounds digital, because it's all digital, but it sounds really good in digital, but yeah, I, I don't like the record anymore. I'm not going to play it anymore. And then we've got some uh, big band records. I like the big band. I like all the horns. I like all that stuff. And this is a Ron Pele. This is a guy from Winnipeg, but he's got a big band. They used to always be in the uh, the Winnipeg uh, uh, jazz. Um, but every week they would have a week of the year jazz. You know, they have all the jazz bands come on. And Ron Paley always had his big band in there. And there's another big band jazz record. Michael Legrand and Company. From Griffin. And then Buddy Rich. Big band. And then I've got this uh, Glenn Miller Orchestra. And then we've got big band machine Buddy Rich again. My dad, you know, he loved the big band stuff. So whenever he came over, man, I would always, we'd always sit down and listen to this stuff. He loved it. You know, that's when he grew as a kid, the big band stuff was on. And this is another kind of a big band, kind of cruder, crooner type music. It's like, he's really does got great production value on his records. And then I've got Ian Carr's Nucleus, Nucleus. Lincoln Mayorga. Who doesn't have a Lincoln Mayorga record? I mean, if you've been collecting records for 50 years or so, you must have some kind of Lincoln Mayorga in your... This is the guy that basically started doing the direct-to-disc. This is one of the first... This is probably one of the first Sheffield Lab records ever made. Direct-to-disc recording. That was 1975, I think, when that came out. Mm -hmm. Pentangle. This is a Japanese uh, jazz group. Really good. Got to have some of that. Salsa, Pancho Sanchez. Bill Evans. And then, this is not really jazz, but I don't know if you folks are familiar with this stuff, but this Andrea Vollenweeder. There's some gorgeous sounding music right here. He plays the harp, but it doesn't sound like he doesn't. You don't think he's playing the harp. You think he's playing some kind of plucked instrument, because the way he does it, it doesn't sound like harp music. Gorgeous. I used to listen to this for for quite a bit. This one and Down to the Moon. I even got a Japanese one. I was listening. To, I listened to it so much, and I had a couple of Holland presses for a while. Gorgeous, gorgeous music. And there he is, with his uh, harp, electric harp. And he's got so many different things on here. Uh, moon harps, moon drums, bells, keys, beats, winds, strings. Yeah, he's always got a lot of stuff. And then I've got a few. He's put out a few records. Dancing with the Lion. See, French horn, bassoon, accordion, French horn, flutes, trombones, bass, acoustic guitar, Turkish saz. Percussion, mandolin, uh, debacca, tenor saxophone, percussion, cello, uh, guitar, oboe. 
I mean, he's always got such great orchestration, the way he, and he, the, the stuff that's on here, it's different. It's just different. It's called new age music, but it's really good. And we've got uh, another one, another Andrews Holden Weeder. And then, 2001 A Space Oddity. And this is a UK original on the MGM Records label. It got really good fidelity when you want to listen to that 2001. It really belts it out. I think I got some time. We'll open it up and look at the, the gatefold so we'll look at it. Pretty cool. Been in here for a while. It's got the old tape on there. So here's the inside of the gatefold. Pictures of, from the movie and stuff. And then the back side of the, of the uh, record, which is all, you know, this is the soundtrack from the movie. And here's the MGM label. This is a Gemma, so this must be a German press. But it sounds really nice. Really nice sounding record. Okay, well, thanks so much for tuning in. And I've got those records are coming from Acoustic Sounds. They should be here in a few days. So I'm going to listen to them all. And then I'm going to give you my impressions of it. And I got a little kind of a side story. I want it to go with that. And so I've got a few other records that I'm listening to that I can do some videos on. So this next week or two, I should keep kind of keep pumping the videos out. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.